morning, West Coast Johnny, how's it going? So today my trailer gets painted. My buddy's gonna be here in a couple hours. I'm out there sanding the whole thing with, with uh, 320. I was gonna use 400, but I what I have is 320. I have a whole roll of it. So I'm just going over the entire trailer with 320 with my um, orbital uh, sander. And it's uh, I'm just hitting every inch so that when you run your hand over it, it's really smooth because um, then when I get all the dust off and you know tack rag it all down before a paint, um, it's gonna be so clean and soft that when it gets painted, it, it should look really nice. So we'll find out in a couple hours. So anyways, let me show you what I'm doing, follow me. All right. Well, I'm sanding down the trailer using my orbital sander with 320 grit sandpaper, which is actually perfect because um, it's not too fine and it's leaving the trailer in a very, very smooth state. So uh, I just sanded every inch of it. So it's all ready to get um, I just got to take all the, the dust off, the dust, and then I'm going to tack rag it. And it's getting painted in two hours. So I'm just getting everything ready. Okay, that's perfect. It's, um, it's extremely smooth. And I sanded it a lot and only a couple spots did the primer start to come off. You know where I sanded through the primer? Here's another spot. But that's really like it. So I'm not gonna worry about it, but it's really smooth like glass. So that's what we're after. All right. Well, my buddy's gonna be here in about half an hour to paint the bottom of the trailer. And I'm just getting ready for him. I already watered the ground really good. I dusted, swept it all off, watered it all down this early this morning so there'd be no dust. So when, uh, when we're spraying, see, we don't want the uh, air to kick up some dust and have it stick to our paint. So there's absolutely no dust and it's all ready to go. It's, uh, again, I sanded it all down with 320. It is super smooth. The only thing I gotta do is go over it with the tack cloth. But I'm gonna let Paul take a look at it first and see what he thinks. Okay, I'm just laying some stuff out for Paul so that when he gets here he uh, I don't know how much time he has so everything's ready I, I got gloves a stick a strainer everything I even cleaned this this morning I cleaned it and I practice with it and it works great he's going to use that he always brings his own backup gun just in case he's probably going to bring a really nice uh, SATA gun or something, but as a backup, but he wanted to see how this worked. I'd love to see how this works on a beautiful paint job. So I haven't, uh, I haven't used, oh well, yeah, I did the cabinets with this and it did, it did turn out really nice. Well, I got all my stuff out for painting, but, uh, my painter called me and he says he's not going to be able to make it today because he's stuck on a big job and he just can't get away today. So he's gonna do it midweek. Uh, so you know what? I'm going to take that as an opportunity, see? Rather than just being upset um, and seeing it as a setback, I'm gonna just take it as an opportunity. So since he's not coming over to paint this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this cabinet out and I'm going to put the flooring in, in this part because the floor never got installed. See the vinyl like that. So I'm going to take this cabinet out, vacuum real nice, uh, clean it really nice. I'm going to make our pattern and I'm going to put in another perfect floor. And then I'm going to show you how we put these cabinets in because these are also in with little blocks. Okay, I got the cabinet out. I'm gonna go ahead and um, make a pattern. 
and I'm just going to work around the wiring harness. I'll have to make a cut because I have the my battery terminal and the wiring go through the floor. So I'm going to have to make a little cut, a special cut, and then I can put my vinyl down. Okay, I have some remnants and I'm just putting them in the sun to get them nice and soft, to get all the wrinkles out of them. All right, I got my first piece, it's taped. This is uh, where I want the vinyl to be. And I stopped right there, now I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna pick up the square edge right here. All we need is a small piece to get started. All right, there's my pattern. It's just a bunch of pieces all taped together. I pushed them and cut them and Put them where they needed to be and then i just uh, taped them all together so i'm going to take take this all out in one big piece and uh, go trace it onto my vinyl all right well i don't have my floor glued down yet um but there it is it's actually um there's a seam right there you can barely notice but you won't tell once the cabinet is in but uh anyways one of the viewers named Roy uh, asked about the blocks I was using to hold my cabinetry down. So uh, here's what I wanted to show you, Roy. So on this one, the front bunk, all I've been using, I, all this is is three quarter inch by three quarter inch mahogany. It's just a piece of hardwood. I fiberglassed it in place, flush against here. The cabinet goes right down here and I drilled a hole in the cabinet and I put a little cap with the screw and then on the inside I got my uh, nylon nut and that doesn't move. On this side, when the cabinet goes down in between here and here, it slides down. Um, I have uh, a fastener here. This, this little piece of plywood that's um, you know, I painted the bottom, but this is just plywood too, that was fiberglassed. But um, this little strip of plywood that's fiberglassed in is holding this cabinet in place right here. And when the other one slips down in the back, see, I could put this through both of them. I haven't had to because when the other one slips down, it's so tight, it doesn't even move. And then on this end of the uh, kitchenette, I have another little block of wood that I put here and then I fiberglassed it in place and the cabinet see it's just bolted right through the back with a little nut and bolt so I got one two and then you can't see but on the back of the center here I fiberglassed a little metal um, piece of metal I just remembered see that and then I put a screw to hold this in, in into here, right there. That's uh, keeping it really tight. I, I just fiberglassed a little piece of aluminum to this cabinet, but um, that is how this one is secure. Oh, I'm sorry, it's also secure, secure here. And it's even secure at the top. But Roy's question was how I was securing the base. So yeah, I got one here, one here, one here okay this cabinet i never actually took out i couldn't because if i would have took it out this whole trailer would have uh just fell apart because it was the only cabinet in holding everything together i even had the door off and this whole thing was just really wobbly so i never took it off but if i did what i would have done i would have put a block here i would have put a block here and I would have probably put a little block right here and then I would have secured it just like I did here, see? And there's a block over here and it's secured here.
but it's not. Oh, and then I got one down here. I just don't have any at the base, but if I was to take this out, I would have just put a little block there, a little block there, and maybe a little block there. So, Roy, I hope that answers your question. Um, feel free to leave a comment below. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue in right now. I'm gonna take this out, vacuum, clean it with acetone, really nice. And then I'm gonna put my glue with the notch trowel. Wait a couple hours and I'm gonna come set this in so I can put my cabinets in, hopefully for the last time, at least for a long time till I go camping. All right, well, it's Friday, May 28th. Trailer is still not painted. My um, painter must have just been so busy. I have not even heard from him. So that's fine. I've been taking advantage of getting a ton of other things done. So um, let me show you what I'm doing inside. Okay, got my cabinet in. I got my trim put down all the way across on both sides and it's screwed in, see? Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the screws white and I'm gonna repaint this white so it looks really nice. Then on this side, I uh, got the original aluminum strip. It was kind of beat up and I cleaned it really nice with, um, with a triple ot steel wool and SOS and 400 grit sandpaper. I just cleaned it and it looks nice. Down here I put some trim, like some quarter round trim, and I painted it, I caulked it and painted it black to match the, the back wall. And I saw those cabinets are in, and I got my books, you know, cut in and all that. And uh, on this side, that's just my some wiring. So this is Baltic birch and urethane paint. So this should pretty much, pretty indestructible. And I still have to put a second coat of paint here, but see the patching doesn't look that bad. The texture matched perfectly. And uh, so these, these guys are in. I just gotta cut my hatches a little bit. They don't fit quite right. I got all my wiring so you don't see it because it's all tucked in, see that? And here's my fuse panel right here. Uh, I'll show you. So here's, I don't have very, very many things. Uh, wiring is all tucked in up under there. Tank sitting all the weight, 100 pounds of water. The weight will be right over the axle. Best place it could be. I don't want 100 pounds in my corner starting to do this at all. Um, like with me, it's okay with my wife driving. She doesn't have a lot of experience of towing a trailer. And if it started doing a little wobble on the freeway, um, <clears throat> I don't know what she would want to do. So, uh, you know, I don't know what she would do. And like if I was taking a nap or something. So I just want the water right here. And then the motor's going to be underneath here. So since the motor is lower than the water, when I turn my pump on, it doesn't even need to prime. It just comes out. It's not gonna make a bunch of noise. I got my copper pieces in. Look at that, I'm happy. So tomorrow, all the doors go on. I put all my doors on tomorrow. If I don't hear back from my painter, I might just end up painting this myself, but I really wanted to my painter to do it because he's a professional um so we'll see oh anyways hey everybody thanks for joining i'm gonna call it a night and uh please leave a comment if you have any questions i'd love to hear the projects you're working on a lot of the viewers are telling me all the cool things they're working on they got trailers like these old boats it's really cool so i'll talk to everybody soon Take care.